And this is actually, we're in an equestrian center, which has been turned into an archery arena. And we're getting set for the recurve bronze medal match. Women's recurve bronze medal match. And this will feature a Russian Ladies against and gentlemen, please welcome an the archer from Great for the women's recurve individual bronze medal Prova of Russia taking on Naomi Folkard of Great Britain. Polkart obviously on the left, and Parova, who competed earlier today in the team competition. Shooting for the bronze medal on target well, right on the one, center of your screen the right there. Federation. As you take a look at Cecilia Parova, she'll be shooting at target number one, right 21st in the world. She defeated Katarina Poleka, 6-5 in a quarterfinal shoot-off. Shot a bullseye in that shoot-off. The then wound up losing a close two, match, 6-4 in the semis to Natalia Poleka. As for Naomi Folkard of Great Britain, ranked 30th Set in the world, the was ranked as high as ninth in the world back in 2009. She won a shootoff in the quarterfinals with a 10 on her final and deciding arrow, then dropped a 6 nothing decision to Miranda Leak in the semis in a match that was actually a lot closer than the score indicates. If they've been keeping cumulative scoring, it would have been a much closer match. She won 6 to nothing, but the cumulative score was actually 87-83. Wow, that's a close match. That's, That's a tough one to lose. Yeah. yeah, tough one to lose. So we're all set, ready to go in the women's recurve bronze medal match here in Las Vegas. Kasinya Prova of Russia. Leads out with a nice 10. That's a great center shot. Let's see how Ms. Folkard answers that. Naomi finishing 17th at the Olympic test event last fall in London. Nine points. And she falls behind early. A little bit, but it's a three zero set, so it's not in the bag yet. Nine. And there we go. That's the opportunity for Naomi to catch up, shoot a 10 here, and it's all square. We are shooting the set play system, so it's cumulative score per set to earn, to earn set points. Nine. The winner will take two set points. If they draw the set, they will split one point apiece, and uh, an outright loser gets zero points for a set. Ten, nine, that's nine, close. Nine. I believe that's a 10. Probably a 10. ten. They put an asterisk that's by it, so they'll check it, and we'll find out a little bit later on. But it's quite possible that Naomi's just shooting for ten. form, and she gets herself a 10. It's a great opportunity to shoot a great shot and get a 10. Now Naomi may have split the set. It's more likely that uh, yeah, yeah. Ms. Perlba has won the set over the early So this is when the judges Otherwise, will give a closer inspection <laughs> of the shooting target. And we'll find out shortly whether or not Ksenia Perlba has won. With a score of 29 instead of that 28 she has currently at this moment. Now it's interesting because Perova defeated Naomi Folkart at the last stop on the indoor championship circuit in France. So this is the rematch from France just a couple of weeks ago. What a great rematch, and there's uh, likely to be many more in the future. You usually don't get a rematch this quickly, do you? Uh, it depends. Sometimes you do. Uh, it seems to be, certainly in, in Canada's experience, it seems that every time we're in a team round, we're up against Team Mexico. So <laughs> absolutely every team round starts with a rematch. So you become quite familiar with your friends from down south. Absolutely. We're great friends, and we just kind of laugh at it now. Hugh McDonald along with Carl Larkey, and hope you're enjoying our live coverage from Las Vegas at the World Archery Indoor Championship Finals. Full card will shoot first in the second set. It has been confirmed that she is uh, down two points. Eight. Now that won't help. No, nope. uh, all, of all of Naomi's arrows so far are off to the left. Hopefully there she goes adjusting her sight. That's good. Perova had the advantage of being out here earlier today, competing Ten. in the team like competition. And I don't know if that's a factor, but she's used to the surroundings, no question about that. She is a little bit more used to the venue, but it's an indoor venue, so the there's no wind to contend with. There's no weather features. Uh, this is just straight nerves, I would say. Prova, ninth at the Olympic test event in London. Ten. Ooh, that's a good 10. Prova's really on the mark right now. Picked up 29 points in the first set to take a 2-0 lead in set points. That put the pressure on Naomi Folkart. There's no 10, let's go, we're going up to the line. But that's probably not enough. So if Perova scores with this arrow, arrow, 
she will win this set. And take a commanding lead in the match. As she goes for the bronze medal. Here in Las Vegas, and she does indeed. Naomi, hopefully settling her nerves a little bit. She was a member of the British th team that participated in the 28th Olympiad in Athens back in 2004. She had been on the world stage for quite some time. Thank you. Here we go for the third set. Naomi will again shoot first. Now it's really important for Naomi to shoot a 10 with this first arrow to put at least a little bit of pressure on Perot. It's a battle to survive right now for Naomi Folkard from Great Britain. Ten. There's the 10. That's an excellent comeback. Gets her first 10 of the day. And she needed it. Let's see how Perova responds. Another solid 10. Maladier. Dead center in the middle of that target. So we're tied early on here on the third set. Nine. Nine. So Naomi, if, if they split this set, Naomi will still have the opportunity to shoot, but the best option for her is to win it outright. Nine. Get two of those points back. Well, and if she does, she's right back into the match, only trailing by two. Absolutely. Yeah, within still, reach. Within reach, but still a must-win situation. Ten. That's a good ten. That's excellent. Well, that's the same hole as she shot with her first arrow on that target. Clutch shooting by Naomi Folkard of Great Britain. Yep, so she will guarantee get another set. The best Perova can do is tie. Which she does. So she ties. They split the points. One to Perova, another first to Perova, and one to Fulcar. It's her first point of the day. So now we stand at 5-1 in favor of Ksenia Perova of Russia, who just needs to split this upcoming set to win the match. Yep, a tie will win it for Perova. Naomi needs to win outright the next two sets to force a shootout. Naomi's only hope of winning this is in a shootout at this point. Once again, in recurve competition, if you win the set, you receive two points. If you split the set, you receive one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And the first archer to reach right. six points right. wins the match. And that really puts Xenia in the driver's seat because if she can shoot a perfect end, she has a guaranteed win. Full card facing elimination right now. I think that's a nine. nine. In the vicinity of one of her earlier arrows. The shadow was a little bit deceptive, so I'm not certain. Nine ten liner, it looks like a ten. It appears to be on the line. We'll wait for the official ruling in just a moment. It's a pair of nines, yes. Nine points. Nine. Another nine for full card. No and I think Perova's no, first breath. arrow is, in fact, a 10 as well. You've shown she's in good shape. 10. Ah, three, ten. Even better shape now. Yep. So Ms. Folkard's in real trouble here. Naomi competed in all four stages of the Archery World Cup Tour last year. Didn't medal as an individual or in team competition. So this means a lot getting to this final. Nine. There's another nine, and that pretty much seals it. Perova needs really to hit the goal to win. She's barely been out of the 10 ring, so. Oh. <laughs> Another Bronze solid 10 from Ms. Perova, and that's a bronze medal. So very solid from start to finish for Ksenia Perova of Russia. Yeah, absolutely. Out of the gate, she was right in the middle of the 10 ring, and she just held it there all day long. That was great shooting. So she was able to defeat Naomi at the last indoor <laughs> stop in Nîmes, France, and in the rematch. She comes out on top once again as she picks up the two points. 
two set points in the fourth set and wins going away by the final count of seven to one. So the bronze medal in women's recur here in Las Vegas right, going right, to right. Ksenia Parova of Russia. And there again you see the final scores. First set and they add it all up and it's a seven to one victory for the young lady from Russia.